Hi, I'm Courtney from Eating Disorder Hope and welcome to our vlog series. The FDA regulations surrounding nutritional information being printed on menus at restaurants has been getting a lot of attention within the eating disorder community lately because it looks like by 2017 almost all restaurants with more than 20 locations will have this nutritional information printed on their menus. So we wanted to help brainstorm some coping skills that can help you in the moment when you're faced with this nutritional information when you're going out to eat, which can already be triggering when you are in recovery. So if you're further along in recovery, you might actually be able to appreciate almost the dark humor in the situation that you've fought long and hard to not have to be obsessed with calories and always know the calorie content of what you're eating. And then here you are now, whenever you go out to lunch or dinner, you're faced with this information staring at you when you open the menu. And that can be very difficult. Um, but if you're not as far along in recovery, it can be very, very highly triggering. So if possible, try to just avoid looking at it. That might sound oversimplified and it's certainly easier said than done, but even if you have to take something, take another menu and put it over that side of the menu that has the calorie content or, you know, put something else over that and just physically avoid it and cut it out. Um, or, or you can just try, or sometimes they have menus that don't have the calorie content. If you go to a certain restaurants that have that option, you can certainly ask for a menu that does not have the nutritional information on the side. If that's just not possible for you and it would be too tempting to look, um, then another thing you can try doing is reframing your the way that you view calories. If you have gone to treatment, then you've probably already done this to a certain extent. But when you have an eating disorder, calories can become this scary thing that is just kind of an obsession and it's it just kind of becomes its own little monster. And in reality, calories are just units of energy. And so reframing the way that you look at these, at, at calories and what they are and the way that you interpret them can really help avoid triggering moments from, from happening when you're out to eat and you are faced with this information. Alternatively, if, if these options don't really work for you and they don't relieve your anxiety when you're out to eat, then uh, you can try something as simple as just reaching out to someone that you're there with. Hopefully you're out there with a friend or family member and you can just kind of admit, I'm having a really rough time with the fact that all the calories are printed on the side of, of each dish or something like that. And most likely they'll be able to, to support you and uh, at the very least acknowledge, you know, yeah, I can see how that would be very difficult. And um, if it's, if possible, you could ask them to hold you accountable and, uh, you know, not order something on the light portion of the menu or things like that. Um, but on a basic level, they can just provide general support, which is so, so important when you're going through these difficult times in recovery. So we just thought it was important to address this topic and help come up with some possible coping skills. And if these don't work for you, let us know what does work for you because we're very eager to, to provide support to you guys. And uh, so we want to know what, what is effective in uh, reducing your anxiety when you're out to eat, especially when you're faced with uh, the nutritional information. So let us know your thoughts and thank you so much for being a part of our vlog series. Have a good day.